Hi, my name is Matt Lyon. I'm a field applications engineer here at Maxim Integrated. I'm here today to talk about the Max Q1061 secure coprocessor. As devices become smarter and more connected to the internet, their vulnerability for cyber attacks becomes greater. For example, last fall, the Mirai botnet attack through closed circuit television and DVRs created massive internet outages at places like Amazon, Netflix, and Twitter. Even though we hear a lot about cyber attacks, unfortunately, security is an afterthought in the design. Luckily, a secure coprocessor can be easily added to your design to prevent that. Maxim recognized this need for security and developed a new coprocessor in our deep cover secure product line that can be added to new and existing designs to help prevent that. Here's a block diagram of the Max Q1061 showing the three key features for security. The first is secure storage. Secure storage is in the DNA of our deep cover products. The Max Q1061 enables secure key and certificate storage. The second is trusted devices and firmware. Protection of embedded devices against malware is also a key requirement. By supporting secure boot, the Max Q1061 enables trusted platforms. And third, secure communications. Connected devices need to communicate securely. For authenticated and encrypted communications, the Max Q1061 supports the TLS protocol. One of the key features unique to the Max Q1061 is the turnkey implementation of the TLS interface. Now we're going to demonstrate the secure communications link of the Max Q1061. On the right, we have the tablet PC, which acts as a TLS server. And on the left, we have the Raspberry Pi, which acts as a TLS client. The Max Q1061 is the EV kit on top with the Raspberry Pi. The way this works is we're first going to reset the link between the server and the client by pressing the reset link. Now the random number is being generated. The X.509 certificate is being verified. And next, we're doing the key exchange using Diffie-Hellman and now the link is secure. So now what we do is we control the speed of, for instance, on the remote side of, this looks like a motor. So the RPMs right now are zero. So on the client side, we will change the RPMs to 100. The plain text for 100 is padded with extra data and then encrypted, and that is sent over to the remote monitor and you can now see that the speed is 100 RPMs and we'll, it'll do that every time we change the speed of the motor. So 200 gets, there's the plain text, there's the cipher text which is encrypted and sent over and the motor changes correspondingly. This demo shows how encrypted data is sent over a TLS link which then is decrypted and authenticated. To learn more about the other features of the Max Q1061, such as secure boot and secure key and certificate storage, and also to learn more about the EV kit, go to www.maximintegrated.com/maxq1061. Thank you for watching this demo.